Did you know it is extremely difficult for a man to get child custody or even visitation rights for his child during an ongoing matrimonial battle? What is more difficult is to get the estranged wife to comply with these orders. In a recent case, the Karnataka High Court has come down very heavily on a woman who refused to comply with the judicial orders of allowing her estranged husband to meet with their child. In a recent order dated June 7th this year, the Karnataka High Court instructed the police to approach the employer of the woman and ask them to hold her salary until and unless she hands over the custody of the minor daughter to the father. The court also instructed the police to ensure to hold back all benefits payable to this woman until and unless she complies with these judicial orders. This is a case where the parties got married in the year 2011 and have a seven-year-old daughter. Last year, in March 2022, the father approached court under Section 25 of the Gardens and Wards Act 1890, seeking custody of his minor daughter. After going through the facts on record, the court allowed the plea and ordered the woman to hand over the custody of the child to her father within one month of the said order. However, in January this year, the woman appealed against this order, which was struck down and the family court order was upheld directing her to once again hand over the custody of the child to her estranged husband. The court also said that this was uh, suggested keeping the best interest of the child in mind and also she could be allowed to gain visitation rights to her own daughter. However, she had never asked or approached court for the same. Despite this Jan 2023 order, the woman remained defiant and refused to hand over the child to her husband. Subsequently, the husband had to approach the High Court seeking compliance of these orders. The Karnataka High Court came down very heavily on this woman who refused to hand over the custody of her child to her husband despite judicial orders. The court termed it as an abuse of process of law that could not be pardoned. In fact, on earlier occasions, the court had also issued non bailable warrants against this woman and directed the Commissioner of Police Bengaluru to ensure that she is present at court. The Karnataka High Court said that she could not be permitted to keep the custody of the minor daughter with her because it was in contradiction with the other judicial orders. The High Court now placed reliance on a Supreme Court judgment, Rajeshwari Ganesh v. State of Tamil Nadu and others, which held that the primary object of habeas corpus petition for child's custody to determine in whose custody the best interests of the child will be advanced. Thus, placing reliance on the Supreme Court judgment, the High Court said that when the child is in the custody of one of the parents, a writ of habeas corpus is maintainable. Concluding the matter, the Karnataka High Court directed the Commissioner of Police to ensure that the custody of the daughter is handed over to the father within 24 hours of this order. The court then also directed the police to ensure that the wife's salary, other benefits and perks are held back from her employer until and unless she complies with this order. This detailed Karnataka High Court order has been uploaded in the description of this video. You can refer to it for your reference. So what is our take in this matter? Women in India have been kind of taking the law and judicial system for a ride. In fact, if you observe in most matrimonial cases and child custody cases, there is hardly any action or repercussion against a woman for lying, doing forgery or even refusing to comply with the judicial orders. On the other hand, you have fathers who spend years and years paying huge amount of money to lawyers, traveling three hours, four hours, sometimes overnight in a month just to meet their children for two hours at the court. And in cases where the mothers or the estranged wives fail to send the kids even on those dates, the husbands are once again left struggling to approach higher court for justice. By the time their order comes from a higher court in favor of a husband, it's perhaps very late as the child himself or herself refuses to meet the father or is completely brainwashed and at times even refuses to acknowledge the man as his or her father. That's it from me as of now. Please do hit the like button. Also hit the bell icon and subscribe to Voice for Men India. And also leave your comments below so that we know what are the topics that could interest you and we can come back with more videos on the same. In fact, if you wish to share your story, if you wish to come and narrate your story, you can email us at contact at the rate voiceformenindia.com. We will review the same and come back to you shortly. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Namaste. Jai Hind.